possibly you can go back into with a lot of different mediums, you know, you don't have to stick with watercolor. I, I never, I don't, if I don't want to stick with watercolor, I don't stick with it. I go with something different. And I'm um, better in here. That's my yellows and a little bit of orange. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of pretty. I sent for, a while back I sent for all of um, Daniel Smith's watercolors. They had a sale on them. And I got about every color that they have. And I, I love their watercolors, but the problem was you got so many colors that you don't know where to go. You know, it, it, it's better if you choose just certain colors and stick with that. And contrary to what I'm doing today, I'm not doing that today. I'll put a little dark right in here. Why am I doing it? I don't know. See, it's just. I know you people that don't like white, to use white and watercolors. I know, but I'm not like that. I figure paint's paint, and if you can use it for something that you like to use it for, you use it. Now see, that's pretty messed up over there, but now it's kind of a straighter angle here. Okay. I kind of fill this in a little bit. This is a, a gold, kind of a gold color. I can't tell you all these colors. Ooh, what did I get that at? I can't tell you all these colors but I'm just using all the ones that's in my paint box. And, uh, you have to be a big list, I'll tell you that right now. Just getting some bright, some really bright colors in here. The same colors now. And more of a, a wash. Up in here. Okay, I got it all painted now. But you know. What I want to do is turn this this way. And spray it some more. water is doing. Isn't that fascinating? I thought I could do. You know, I can kind of see an abstract design and it looks like a bunch of bottles to me. Why not? Why not take a Okay, here's some black Indian ink, and let me try something here. Um, if you don't venture out, try stuff, you know. But this is kind of right in the middle, so. I, but I'm, I don't care. I'm going to come down with my with my ink. a big bottle here. A, a bottle right there that's going to come down the 
about here, and then come out a little fatter and down. See? Oh, here's another one. It's not the same height. So I can make this even a little different kind of a bottle. See, maybe I make a little batter, kind of a different shape all together. You see, it's kind of like shapes. There's a bottle right here. I can just see it right there. It's just uh, got to go a little higher. You got to put a top on it. Here could be a, uh, maybe a, right here. I kind of like to have it overlap here. I don't want the same height. And I'm going to make this really different. And here, I'm going to have a little small one. Well, I'm having fun, you know. You see what she can do? Um, see, because I, what I try to do is make the negative spaces all a different size. This is your negative space here, and this is your positive. You see, they're all a different size. It's a different shape. And this here up here, i got to make it a little bit more interesting. Now, um, I'm thinking um, that down in front I might have something else going on. Um, you know, that are overlapping. Now there's a round circle, and I'm going to bring another round circle right here. You know, this is the abstract, don't you? So. Um, you don't uh, have to worry too much about, you don't have to worry too much about it being realistic. Um, how about a nice, uh, maybe a oblong, Maybe it's just an oblong cucumber or something. See, I'm just kind of doing this on, on um, without thinking it through. But, you know, right in here, I've got to make a whole big stack of grapes in circles, you know, like this. Maybe I'll come over here. Maybe I'll go over with this. Over there it even looks like flowers. But um, I'm not going to make a be a, a real. It's going to have just more of a of a abstract design. And in this bottle, I'm going to bring the bottle over and put the whole bottle in, just, just for the, just kind of for the uh, composition, maybe a 